it. Today I am doing a bit of a different layout than I usually do. I wanted to try some new stuff. Um, so a lot of it I did off camera, like the prep work. Um, I started off with just a 12 by 12 plain paper. I, did I just do it? I don't, yes, I did. I believe I gessoed it. I'm pretty sure I gessoed it so it would be easier to paint. And then, so all the colors on the background, I used watercolor. And then um, this strip of paper is just some uh, paper I tore off of 12 by 12 paper. And then in that middle, I did some um, hand stitching with embroidery thread. Um, I didn't do this on the camera since it would have been a longer video. Um, and these are techniques I feel like should be in a separate video if you really want to see like how to. Um, I could definitely show you. Um, the watercolor wash is just playing around with watercolors really. And then the hand stitching was just something I was playing with. Um, since I've seen all the stitching stuff, I do have a sewing machine, but I am kind of lazy. <laughs> so I didn't want to take out my sewing machine and go through that. And I kind of like the hand stitched aspect of it. Um, if I did want straighter lines, I would definitely use a sewing machine. So here I'm playing around. I'm very indecisive on this layout. Um, lately I've been in like a creative rut, uh, which is the lack of process videos lately. Uh, so I do apologize about that. Um, I am trying to find inspiration elsewhere. So I'm taking a, a like a little break from scrapbooking. I haven't scrapbooked in a couple weeks. This was I recorded a while back, um, and I'm now getting to editing it. So right now I've been focusing on like art journaling, painting, and my schoolwork. Um, so I will get back into scrapbooking soon. I just needed to take a little break from it since I've been in a rut. Anyways, so those little frames that I glued down, I made myself. I don't own any of those cool looking frames, um, just because I haven't bought any. Uh, so they're super easy to make yourself. Um, I just uh, did like four by four squares, two by two squares, and then I cut the inside of them. And then the really good, st the good stuff is the Heidi Swap that you're supposed to use gold foil. Um, and then the really, I think, is Amy Tan, uh, part of her collection. A lot of the embellishments I use in this is um, the Amy Tan collection. I don't know the specific name of it, um, but I will look and I will let you guys know. And I'll put it down below. So here I'm just putting a white frame around my photos um, just to make them pop more since I'm doing a more colorful background and I have more going on than I usually do, I guess. Um, I'm getting in more into this mixed media stuff, especially now that I'm art journaling. Um, and I do paint on the side as well. So um, yeah, just been having fun. Um, and I usually, on my 12 by 12 layouts, I only do one photo. So this was my first time doing two photos. Um, this graffiti wall inspired me to do this layout. Um, it was at St. Petersburg. Um, it was our first time going there. We went for Edwin's birthday and they had so much fun art, graffiti art, and just art all around that I absolutely loved since I don't really have that to where I am. Um, so that was fun. Also, I wish I used glue stick instead of tacky glue for my paper stuff because um, my layout did get kind of wrinkly at, in the end, so I had to put um, a book on top of it. Um, it was an easy fix, but um, for something cleaner, I would have used glue stick. Anyway, so I'd love to know where do you find um, inspiration? Do you find inspiration uh, via Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook groups, um, or around you? Um, since I'm in this scrapbook rut, um, I'm wondering where to find inspiration. I've been screenshotting um, a lot of green screen shooting. I don't know. Um, a lot of people's layouts that I really like to see if I can get inspired by it. Um, the color scheme or whatnot. I've tried to create a mood board. I've tried various things, but I'm still not getting it. Um, I do have pictures I need to print as well, new pictures, which I think would help a lot. Um, so we'll see. And that love thing that I cut out the circle, I believe it's 
Heidi Swap as well. If it's not Heidi Swap, it's Studio Calico, but I'm pretty sure it's Heidi Swap. As is this, oh yeah. Um, so I really wanted to play with layers and embellishments on this. As you can see with the frames, I layered them upon each other. My embellishments I'm layering. Um, I just had a lot of fun with this layout um, with all the colors. Um, it's super bright and it contrasts well with my photos, which I'm happy about. Again, I should have used a glue stick or double-sided tape for this. So yeah, uh, let me know what inspires you down below. I'd love to know um, where you find your inspiration. Do you find it on YouTube through process videos? Um, what do you do? So this embellishment, let's see, what is it? It's a little tab. Oh, that one I made um, to match my um, my frames. I just cut it out of the scrapbook paper. Um, I drew it first, and then I cut it out. The heart is in Amy Tan heart. And these arrows are also from the Amy Tangerine collection. And that, that little zebra that's sitting there is also part of Amy Tan correct? Ugh. <laughs> collection and I don't end up using it. I think I'm going to use it on like a mini album, like a cover of a mini album or something because it's so cute. Like, I don't want it just to be in an album. I want it to be somewhere I can see it all the time. So again, I'm playing with the frames. I did it in three spots just so your eye moves around my, my layout. Um, so um, I try to do things in threes. It seems like it's the magic number whenever you're adding stuff to a layout. Sometimes it's two or four, but threes whenever it's scattered around on your um, layout definitely works. So I did three clusters, and then these arrows are just pointing towards my photo since it's the good stuff, the really good stuff. And this paper pad that I use the frames with and such is um, from Michael's. It's one of those um, $5 hot buy paper pads. Um, it was by Crate Paper. I just don't know the name of the paper pad. What I did, I pulled out all of the papers from my paper pads because it took up less room in my iris box containers. So now I have no idea which one's. Like, I know it came, which ones came in the set, but I don't know the set's name anymore. Um, so I do apologize about that. I seem to not to remember brand names very well. I remember my stickers because I keep them in, like, the plastic sleeves. But everything else I take out of the packaging. So I never seem to remember the collections. I usually just remember who it's by. Um, and you could usually find it by just knowing who it's by. So... And this camera I'm absolutely in love with. I probably will recreate it by painting like watercolor or something because um, it's so cute. And I do want to use it on a mini album cover. I think with that, the zebra and that camera would be super cute on a um, mini album. So I'll probably have to, I'll paint it. I'll paint one similar. I keep mentioning this mini album. I have no idea what this mini album is going to be, by the way. Um, I just know I want to do a really cute cover. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, so here I am using, I believe these are American Crafts um, stickers that I got from um, bleh, Tuesday morning. Um, I actually moved them from this location. I move them quite a bit, <laughs> which I should have cut off. 
why don't I look at my videos before recording? It, whenever I record, it's usually my first time watching my videos. Um, usually I remember what I'm supposed to cut out, but since it's been a while that I recorded this, I, I don't know what I did. I don't remember my process. Um, I did add some Tim Holtz phrase stickers up on the top left hand corner. And the I Heart the Weekend is a sticker from Me and My Big Ideas, I want to say. I'm pretty um, OCD when it comes to these stickers. I like them to all be straight. So it was driving me crazy that I couldn't get it. Um, and then I didn't like how they were on top of my arrow. So, what do I do? I move them. Thankfully, they they weren't that like sticky. Like they they stick onto my paper, but they're easily removable at the same time. Um, I do like these. I have them in white as well. Uh, they're just flat though. Um, so if I want like dimensional, I just use my thickers. But I do like these for this specific layout and other stuff as well. I just like the font of them. So I am moving it. I believe I put graffiti art, not just graffiti. Pretty sure I put graffiti art. That little bowl of ephemera is mostly Amy Tangerine's collection. And then I have bits and pieces of the Heidi Swap um, ephemera made for her, um, the gold foil stuff, the mink machine that I don't own. I have a, sorry, I have a, um, a laminator, so I've heard that you can use a laminator for the gold foil. So I kind of want to try it, but I'm kind of nervous at the same time. I have an Amazon Basics laminator. So have you tried it, to, like the Heidi Swap foil stuff with your lam laminator? Let me know how it worked, if it worked, or if it was a disaster. And then those for, that I used for art, those um, stickers are Studio Calico. No, they're not Studio Calico. Yes, they are. Pretty sure they're Studio Calico. If they're not Studio Calico, then I got them. I think they're simple stories. Oh my goodness, I've been so bad with these brands. I'm so sorry, guys. So right now, I am just journaling about our day in St. Petersburg and how I loved the art that was there. Um, I'm just using a Sharpie. That was the first thing I grabbed, black Sharpie. Um, every time I try to do, like, color on my, like, writing, I don't like it for some reason. My go-to is always black when writing my journaling stuff. And I think I was spell checking myself. <laughs> I use I have my laptop like right above there usually when um so I can charge my phone at the same time recording so I don't have to worry about it dying. Anyways. So I am just putting those on. Um I had to delete something off the video, so it's as if my narration kinda is choppy. That is why. <laughs> Um, it was just, um, an unnecessary part of the video. I guess I forgot to pause my camera. Anyways, so, these are super fun. Um, and uh, they kind of look like enamel dots. They're just not as flat, but I like the dimension that they have, so, all is good. Alright, so my finished layout is coming. Here it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and tell me what inspires you. Um, I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below, please. Um, and I used happy a uh, roller stamp. It says happy place. And then I used one here that says this was rad. And darling, you are a work of art. Creativity takes courage. Those are little quotes from the Tim Holtz thing that really worked really well. Um, anyways, so uh, be sure to subscribe for weekly crafty updates. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.